Can a lawyer's generosity towards members of a professional organization cross the line into unethical behavior, leading to penalties for both the giver and the recipients? Re, illegal campaign activities allegedly perpetrated by attorney Nilo Divina. AM No. 23-04-05, SC, promulgated on April 25, 2023. The case stemmed from an anonymous letter dated March 24, 2023, which accused attorney Nilo T. Divina of engaging in illegal campaign activities related to the election of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, IBP, Central Luzon Region. The letter alleged that attorney Divina sought the position of IBP Central Luzon Governor, which he viewed as a stepping stone to becoming the IBP National President. To this end, he allegedly engaged in prohibited campaign activities, such as sponsoring expensive trips for IBP Central Luzon officers to Bailsin Island in Bali, Indonesia, and giving out significant sums of money in gift checks. The letter also highlighted specific incidents. In the summer of 2022, Attorney Divina allegedly took IBP Central Luzon officers to Bailsin Island Club in Palillo, Quezon. In December 2022, he allegedly distributed cash and gift checks worth hundreds of thousands of pesos to IBP Central Luzon officers. In February 2023, he allegedly took the officers to Bali, Indonesia. In response to these allegations, several involved parties, including Attorney Divina submitted their comments. Attorney Divina denied any illegal or prohibited campaigning, stating that his contributions were acts of goodwill and aimed at supporting the IBP, not at influencing any election. The recipients of these contributions also downplayed the allegations, describing the trips and gifts as team-building activities and expressions of appreciation without any conditions attached. Did Attorney Nilo Divina's actions in sponsoring trips and giving gifts to IBP Central Luzon officers constitute illegal campaign activities, or did they breach professional ethical standards? The Supreme Court found that Attorney Nilo Divina did not engage in prohibited campaign activities under the IBP bylaws. There was no concrete evidence that he intended to run for IBP Central Luzon governor, nor was there a direct connection between his generosity and the impending elections. However, the court ruled that Attorney Divina's actions violated Canon 2, Sections 1 and 2 of the Code of Professional Responsibility and Accountability, CPRA, which require lawyers to maintain the appearance of propriety in their dealings. His actions were seen as crossing the line into improper conduct, thereby undermining the integrity of the IBP, the Supreme Court fined attorney Nilo T. Divina PHP 100,000.00 for simple misconduct and issued a stern warning against future violations. The same penalty was imposed on other IBP officers who accepted his gifts, dispositive portion, the court found attorney Nilo T. Divina guilty of simple misconduct and fined him PHP 100,000.00. The court also imposed the same fine on other involved IBP officers. The suspension on the election of the IBP Central Luzon governor was lifted, and the region was ordered to proceed with the election, thought-provoking question, should professional organizations impose stricter guidelines on the acceptance of gifts or contributions from members to prevent potential conflicts of interest. Important Doctrines of the Case Canon 2 of the Code of Professional Responsibility and Accountability, CPRA A lawyer must always act with propriety and maintain the appearance of propriety in both personal and professional dealings. The court highlighted that actions that undermine the integrity and impartiality of the legal profession can lead to disciplinary actions, even if they do not violate specific prohibitions. Simple misconduct, 
defined as a transgression of some established and definite rule of action without corrupt intent or flagrant disregard of the law. The penalty can range from fines to suspension, depending on the severity of the act. This case emphasizes the importance of maintaining high ethical standards within the legal profession and the careful scrutiny applied to actions that may appear to compromise professional integrity.